Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. We have the power to remove any resistance. But then the, the third thing, is uh, is to really understand that uh, there's something there's something about choice that's very important, and so you must acknowledge right now you can choose anything that you want to have in your life. You know you can pretty much have everything. Uh, sorry, you can have anything, but you cannot have everything. So choice making is very important because choice making is really how you create a relationship between your three levels of mind to say out of everything I could experience. You know, this is what I want to choose. I want to choose this. And I, I really, 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 really can't stress enough how important choice making is and choosing what it is you want to experience in this lifetime. So, so for me, uh, choice making was something that uh, I had to really learn. I, I grew up around goal setting and uh, goal setting uh, to me was uh, something I was just just brought up around being amongst sport. And so I always had goals. And I, I would predictably do them, you know, around about, you know, once a year in January. And I'd say, these are my goals for this uh, calendar year. Uh, but I never ever completed them. The goals always seemed like this goalpost that kept on moving and moving and moving and moving. And, you know, there are these things. And then there were some goals that um, would get put on there that didn't even, didn't even get past like the first week in January. And uh, then I noticed this in a lot of companies, they would do, you know, yearly goals, and then they'd have quarterly goals, but they were just, they were just talking points, like they weren't actually, they were wishes more than goals. Does that make sense? They were like dreams, they weren't really, they weren't really it. And so, so for me, like, I, I would never complete them. And I would have them out there and they were, can I just ask, has anyone else had a goal that they've had for years, you know, and they're still chasing that same goal? You know, like I see people in their, in their weight loss, they've had one goal in their business and their money that they, they just have it. And uh, in the end, we kind of go, well, goal, goals don't work. Hey? And so we need, we need a new way of doing it. And, and the, it's very important when you're, you're understanding about choice making is that you, you got to go from the big to the small, but you also must teach your unconscious that whenever you set a, set a choice, you, you complete it. This is very important. One of the biggest instructions that you can give to your unconscious is that when you write down a choice, you're serious. If you write down a choice and you don't follow through on it and you don't complete it, what is the invisible or silent instruction you're giving to your consciousness? It could be that you're not interested in choices. It could be that, that they're not, you're not serious. Hey. It's very important to understand that your unconscious takes every, it doesn't have discernment. Hey? It, just, it just says yes to everything. Just says yes to everything. And so, so, so I've got a rule. I've got a rule. Never, never have a choice that you're not going to complete. Hey, ne never put a choice down that you're not going to, you're not going to complete. It's very, very important. Like you ne never just have one that just sits there. You complete them. See, so with every choice, there's the there's the start, which is when you choose it. Then there's the assimilation to to the choice becoming into reality, and then there's a completion of it. There's the completion of it. Now, if you're like me, I just had big things out there that you know I was always going for. And, and what I find is that people have different challenges with different parts of choice making. Okay, so we all know when we're creating, there's a desired reality that we wish to experience, that we're, we're going to create, right? Dear. Then there's a current reality, which we're currently in. And we know that we want to go from here to here. So there's always an action to take. Okay. Now, these three um, aspects, uh, I'll, I'll get to it, Simon. Uh, good question, though. Uh, with, with these three aspects, uh, everyone has a challenge with one of the three. Okay. Now, personally... I never had a challenge with action, you know, like action, action was no problem. Okay. Uh, I actually had a challenge uh, when it was, when I'm looking at this is my desired reality. My biggest challenge and choice making for me 
was I was never able to complete anything. And we all know I've shared you along my story that, you know, it was because everything was designed to prove that I was good enough, right? So if I was to actually complete it, well, I'd have to accept the opposite of what I am. So let me ask you, do you have a challenge with actually creating uh, desired realities that you actually complete? Do you, do you have a problem or, a, a, you know, a lot of people, they just have all these things and they constantly got uh, new ideas. I've got a business partner at the moment. I was talking uh, to him yesterday uh, and, and uh, he might be on. And it, 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 the desired really is always shifting. Always change this, 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 this. And, and so, so we, must, we must understand, okay, which aspect do I need to work on? Uh, the most. Okay. So if, it, if it's desired reality, uh, you might go, you know what? Um, I, have a, I have a challenge with desired reality. Either I keep moving it. And so I never actually decide on it, or I never allow myself to actually have it. You know, I never arrive at, at it. Or, or I just sit there going, I don't really know what I want. You know, I don't know what I want. So you might have a bit of a challenge. And by the way, by the end of today, I'm going to make sure that you you you, uh, you get it. So so some of you might have a challenge with with what it is you want to create. Okay, you might not be good at thinking what do I want to create. And so you might have wound the insignificant wound. Uh, you might have uh, you know uh, might be coming from default. You might have been told you're not really allowed to have things you want. Whatever it is, but you might have a challenge with that. Uh, some of us have a challenge with current reality, meaning. What we think is the current reality isn't actually the current reality. We never actually tell the truth about what our current reality is. So this can happen both ways. Uh, some people continually lie to themselves that they're doing better than they are. You know, their current reality is actually this, but they always say it's like it's this. You know, they always think that it's better than it is. And so, and they're always uh, making up that they're in progress. Many people who have the perfectionist, uh, you know, um, orientation is uh, they, they feel like they're, they're moving by getting something organized. You know, I see this a lot. It's like, oh, so you, you're going to create your business. So, so what have you done? I'm working on my logo. Now, how many customers have you got? Well, I'm going to get my logo. I'm going to get my website. And they feel that their current reality is moving. But really, it's not. They've been working on that logo for six months or whatever. But it's, they think it, they're moving, but they're not. The other person who has the opposite in their current reality is they're hypercritical. And this was my business partner. So he said, hypercritical, always current reality. Like current reality is like falling apart. It's horrible. You know, so current reality. Some of us are overcritical about our current reality. Hey. And so, so many of us are, are challenged with that, that part. And then, then a lot of us are challenged with action action like taking the correct action because if you want to move somewhere you must take the right action however uh in order for you to learn how to take the correct action most of the time you have to actually take the wrong action or you have to take the right action without the right skills and you'll get feedback that that doesn't doesn't align with someone who doesn't want to fail you see and so a lot of people just won't take the action because they know that they probably don't have the skills to actually make the action happen and they don't want the feedback they just don't want that feedback. Another thing that people say to me about actions, I just don't know what I should do. And, and it's one of the one of the most interesting patterns. I don't know what action I should take. Yes, yes, you, you really do. You know, like there's not most people's, um, you know, even if you wanted to take a rocket ship to, to Mars, there's, there's an action. You know, there's a there's something you need to do right now. So so, you know, just just consider your own uh, creation process and, and think about these three points and, and maybe you know, how you, you know, you, you need to improve your relationship with these three. When I learned uh, how to do choice making properly, what I learned was how to get the energy of what I really wanted, get the energy of what I really wanted, and then create a milestone that I would hit that would reinforce that I'm, I'm on the path to where I'm going. And I decided to call this lenses. I decided to call it lenses because a lens is something that you're looking at the same thing, but with a, a different focus. Okay. And, and you guys all know this. So you can take a, you can, you can get a camera and you can be looking at, uh, you know, your, your backyard and um, you'll see grass. And then you can focus in on that and you might see 
blades of grass. And then you can focus in on that, you might see one blade of grass. You focus in on that, you might see a bug on that blade of grass. Now, the whole time you're looking at the same thing, you see, but with different levels of focus. Does everyone understand the metaphor of lenses? We're looking at the same thing. So, so the way that we do this, okay, is we, we start out with orientational choices. Someone tell me not what they are, but, but what, why would I call them orientational choices? So we start out with orientational choices. What does an orientational choice do? Thanks, Anita. Thanks, Anita. So Anita's got it right. Yep. Elizabeth's got it right. Yes. Uh, Bria's got it right. Yes. Jesse's got it right. Yes. Thanks. Deborah's got it right. So orientational choices, they, they point you in the right direction. Thanks, Ross. They orient you. They orient you. And it's important that we are oriented in the creative structure. So uh, if someone's brand new, would I, would I have a coach or a, a, would, would, would anyone, could you guys pop in the, the core four choices? So we have four core orienting choices. They're in the book. Um, we talk about them all the time. And so there's, there's four, okay? Thanks, Abby. And so, yeah, I like it, Wendell. Wendell remixed um, one of them. And so, you know, that you can write them the way you want. I said it a different way one time and Wendell went, that's the way it should be said. So, so the first, uh, well, then they're in no order because they all point you in the right direction. And the right direction, the way you want to be oriented is the now is better than any future. Is that the now is better than any future. So, so the way that we point ourselves in the right structure is the first one. And remember, this is a no order is, uh, you know, I, I choose to live a life I love or love the life I live or whichever way you want to put it. But, but I choose to love my life. Hey, I choose to love my life. That's, that's the first way that you orient. You, you first will say, I choose to love my life. The next one uh, is, you know, I choose to be the predominant creative force in my life. And this means that you choose to be the predominant creative force. So you orient, you say, I, no matter what's happened, I'm the creator of my results. No matter what what other people are creating on me i'm choosing how i'm creating i'm choosing how i respond the third one is i choose health and vitality so i choose every day to to have a body that supports me living uh so it's very simple and then uh did i say true nature and i am true nature and purpose and so i choose my true nature and purpose and that is because your truest nature is to be a creator and your purpose is how that um, being a creator shows up in life whether that's um and, and it changes so, so guys, we start off with those and they orient us in, in the magnetic moment and, and that's, um, that's where we start. Okay, so we take those and those are, the, those are just like, um, those just point us in the right direction. But can you all understand that you can't put any of those in a wheelbarrow? So none of those exist, you, you know, we can't, you can't hand me health and vitality. I can't hold it. Okay. So, so they orient you. They just point you in the right direction. They're like, I want to go somewhere sunny. All right. Oh, that, that's all they're doing. They're not actually, you can't really, uh, you can't get anywhere because they're so big and vague. So they, they're just there to orient you and to point you in the right way and to shift you into the correct structure. Does that make sense, everyone? That's all they're there for. They shift you into the right structure. And by the way, I'm not discounting the importance of them by saying that. In fact, you can work with just the orientational choices, keep your life as it is, and just work on getting in the right structure. You could spend a year doing that and you would have amazing results, okay? But they just point you in the right direction. So, so the, next, the next thing, that, well, the next lens, okay, so that's the biggest lens. That's the widest view possible, okay? That's the widest thing you can look at. That's like looking at not just your backyard. That's like looking at the whole world. That's how wide that view is. It's big. So, so the next thing is we, we want to get into true choices. Now, a true choice, by definition, is something you would just love to experience. Just love to experience. So true choices are things you're going to actually experience that colors in the orientational choices. 
So for example, you've already chosen health and vitality. What is a true choice that you're going to be experiencing that high health and vitality doing? You know, uh, great sex, go on great walks and time with your children. So what are some of the true choices? As you're the predominant creative force, what are you going to choose to create with your true nature and purpose? Hey, Derek, what are you going to do? I'm going to choose to love my life or live a life I love. But what am I actually, how am I going to do it? True choice are things that you should be able to tick off and that big. Does that make sense? So you go from these orientational choices and then you might add five or six true things that even though you already love your life, you would just love to be able to experience those. Does that make sense, everyone? You would just love to be able to experience them. So as an example, you, you know, you, you have an orientational choice of, um, I'll just put it, true nature and purpose, right? And then... When I tune into my true nature and purpose, a, a true choice I have is, is conscious education, okay? So conscious education is to be the, you know, the number one uh, human transformation uh, company on the planet. Okay, so that's, our, that's a true choice. Uh, that, that's, that's what we're going for. Do you see that? So I have my truest nature, my truest purpose, Inside that, uh, you know, I have my orientational choice and I have a true choice, okay? Now, do you see how that fits? Now, if all I did was have that big goal out there, how often will I get to teach my unconscious, you're a great creator? Like, how, how often will I get to it? Once, at, once in a lifetime, hey? Very, like, you take, that's a big thing, hey? So it's not very often, but that gets the energy of what I'm creating, you see? And so it's a very good, true choice. It's big, it's true, it's massive. It's the biggest one that I have. It's the biggest one that I have. Does that make sense? So, so what do we have under that? I can't experience that. So that could be like a massive goal, like a someday goal. I think that could, that's about a five to 10 year goal. Now, what a true choice does, okay? And I want you to really get this. A true choice gives you the energy of the end result. It, it, so when I tune into that, it gives me the energy. See, if I had a different, if this didn't exist, if the true choice was, um, uh, instead, of it, instead of it being this, this big thing, it was uh, create a coaching program. You see, create a coaching program, create a, create a world-class coaching program. I mean, it's still a nice end result, but it's not the same energy as the, the, my actual wording. If you want to hear my actual wording, my actual wording is to create the world's premier human transformational business and brand. That's it. That, I mean, that's actually my choice. That, that's actually how it's written. So does everyone see this? is a true choice is something that gets the energy. Now, it doesn't have to be massive. It doesn't have to be, uh, it just gets the energy. So, so another, uh, you know, another one that I've got here is, uh, well, I'll just go to the next one down, is a high profit automated funnel. It's a marketing term, so most of you won't know that, but it, it's a very, it's very much smaller, you see, but that's the, that's the end result of that. Does that make sense? Is a true choice is the end creation of it. It doesn't matter size. So, so another one that I've got here, you know, is become a father. There's nothing, there's nothing past that. That's that end result, you see? So, so that's the true choice. That's the choice. And so it's not about the size of it. It's just the, it's just the end of it. Make sense? Now, Whatever the size of it, okay, whatever the size of it, you're going to need a milestone or, a, you know, let's call it a secondary choice. Now, when we do lenses, we don't just sit with the big one. So this might be a milestone or what is it that you can achieve right now is a milestone towards your big choice, okay? So the big choice in lenses is the end result, the big energy. 
you get that, then it fits into there's something that you can go and actually manifest right now. For example, uh, one of one of the secondary choices under the premier human transformation company and that it says, uh, you know, the full product path. So one of the things underneath this is I want to finish the, the full the full curriculum. And we're just about to finish that. OK. We're just about to finish that. So do you see? My true nature and purpose. A true choice with the energy of it. What it is that I'm going to focus on right now. Everyone following how this lens is. Um, by the way, this is still looking at all of this. They're just different lenses of focus. Does that make sense? It's just lenses of focus. This is the key. And so then you go right up to that right down. And then the very bottom thing is the action, which is what you can do now. And so here's the idea of lenses. Here's the whole idea of lenses is that you have set your life up so you don't have to worry about these things happening. You just got to do this. You just got to do this. And if you do this, then this will happen. If you do this, then this will happen. And by doing that, you're doing this. Give me a yes if you get this. This is the most predictable way of creating. The most predictable way of creating. So you'll see with my choices, so I have choice, and then this one, create a world-renowned series of books that define how to live super consciously. Write the Millionaire Coach book. That's what I'm focused on right now. Right, you can see this is printed off. I don't print it every day. That's my milestone. You'll see here, create the world's premier human transformation business. Be the CEO. Really working on, on knowing how to do that. YouTube channel, you might have noticed I started that. Full product path, I'm, I'm releasing these things here. Preview event, to sell the SEM, did that, did that. Create a cert, oh, did, that's what's happening. You'll see, you'll see in other ones. Uh, so this one here, I'm, I'm building a, it says build the perfect mansion in Springbrook. And you can see here, there's three things that, are, that we need to add to that house. And so <laughs> Aaron just asked, so do so you, so you see that? So we, we bought the property and um, we own 40 acres. We've got the house. And then these are the things that need to get added to it. This is so crucial when you're creating. So very rarely do my big choices change that much. Okay. My big choice, actually, I've got, um, I can show you. I can show you my old end results book. Got my, uh, my new end results book here. And so at the beginning of, beginning of this, here's my, here's my old end results book. Uh, Life I love doing fun shit. Connect with nature and experience myself as source. Lead a movement of liberated humans creating from their hearts. Live a magical life, an abundant life beyond anything I can imagine. Investing in and guiding many fun and profitable business projects that work independent of my time. Become a father, it's still there. Own a dream lifestyle home in nature. I did that. That is ticked off. Uh, we bought that home. Create the world's premier human transformational business and brand. Still there. Create a world-renowned masterpiece that defines how to live super consciously. That was my book. So, you know, if I did, I would tick that one off. Uh, I would tick off that. Uh, and, and then a couple others uh, are, are still working. Does that make sense? That's how you create. That's how you create. And this book obviously got finished a while ago. That's how you create. Hey, Chris here again. I hope you really enjoyed that session. Obviously, it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program. If you'd like to be involved in that program, please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious. Uh -huh.